there, Sue Stapp here. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, today we're going to work on an Easter card. And the set that we're going to be using is called You're Inspiring. Now, this can be used, it has an Easter sentiment, Happy Easter. There's a Kind Thoughts for You, You're Inspiring, there's a Happy Birthday. And then there's also one that says, Because of You, I Am Me, Happy Mother's Day. So a lot of different uses for this stamp set. And the daffodils are such a nice surprise when they start popping out in the spring. I love to see the colors come about. I have quite a few different perennials and plants in my yard and enjoy every one of them. I like to create some of my cards to mimic my beautiful flowers. <laughs> so let's get started. Now what we're going to use, this is our standard A2 size card. And you've probably heard me say that word before. And what it means is it is four and a quarter by five and a half. And so if you take a eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock, this is Whisper White, and you cut it on the 11 and a half inch side and then fold it, you will have your four and a quarter by five and a half. So this is, uh, like I said, this is an A2 size base card. And we're using the white base this time. Um, we have quite a bit of color on here, so I thought the white gave it uh, that background to really make it pop. Now I did this one on Easter, and I did, this is the first one I did. I did the sentiment that said, kind thoughts for you. And I think that that would be nice to send a friend anytime. So let's get started. Uh, I will show you a couple of the steps and putting this together, and then we'll just put it all together. So to start with, let me show you how I do, if you're not able to join me at my workshops in my home or at other locations, I have a program called Workshops in the Mail. And you can subscribe to that. And each month you'll get the four cards that we do at our workshop. And it'll all be sent to you. And this is the cards. This is how it comes. This is that base card that we just did a second ago. And then they have a yellow that's going to go on here. And this is going to get layered just like so. And the yellow is five and a quarter by four. Let's see. see. Yeah, five and a quarter by four. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> brain cramp. <laughs> and then we have a brown layer that'll go up here towards the top. I got a little nub there. A uh, brown layer that'll go up here towards the top. And the brown layer is three and a half by three and a half. And then on top of that, we're going to have a white layer that we're going to stamp. And the white layer is three and a quarter by three and a quarter. So two squares there. And then we have uh, our ovals. And we have a scalloped oval and we have a solid oval. And to get those, I used what we call our layering ovals framelit dies. And I used these two in the set. You can see you get an assortment. And the scalloped edge is the large one. And it has the great tooth on there that just cuts that right out, makes a beautiful scalloped edge. And then this has the straight edge. And that's what I used to cut out this one. And it pops right out. So that's what I did to create those two parts. Now, the final two pieces are a strip of brown, and I did this the width of the whole card, so it's five, or it's four and a quarter by one inch, and then this one I did a little smaller. It's three quarters of an inch wide, and it's only four inches. Now we're gonna uh, fishtail the ends of that though, so the width really won't matter. You just don't want any longer than that. So let's uh, let's put our card together. First of all, we're gonna do some stamping. And I am using the Memento Black stamp pad. That is our water-based stamp pad. And I'm using that because we're going to be do some coloring with our alcohol markers. And if you use alcohol markers, you need to use a water-based uh, ink pad. So let's get started. And oh, I just broke a nail. <laughs> The dangers of this job, I tell you. 
<laughs> okay, so this is the one that was four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And I'm gonna stamp that with the smaller daffodils. It looks like a little border. And I'm gonna stamp this, um, let's see, let's put it one right here on the edge. And then let's get the other edge of that. And then I'm gonna do a second row and I'm gonna put that close to the edge up here. And then I'm gonna do like so. And I think I'd like a little one peeking in here and maybe even a little one on this side. Just a part of a flower. Okay, so that is that section. And the other one that we're gonna stamp is our oval, and we're gonna stamp that with the large daffodil. And I'm still using the same Memento black ink because I am going to be using the watercolor markers on that also. Uh, our stamp and blends are our watercolor markers, and I'll show you those in just a few minutes. I'm gonna pop that straight down. I like to press it for five seconds or so, let the ink adhere to the paper, and you get a really nice image. So that is our stamping for right now. We have one other thing that we're gonna stamp, and that is our little sentiment that goes at the bottom. Now I'm using Old Olive for that, and I've opened the stamp pad, and I have tap, tap, tapped my happy Easter sentiment, and I'm gonna center that, and again, use the same five second rule, and it's that nice, deep, old olive color. So, let's put our stamp pads away for a minute. That's the stamping that we'll be doing. And I will cover those so they don't dry out. There we go. And let's do some coloring. I'm gonna take this and fold it over so it's not so distracting. Um, actually, you can still kind of see it through. I'll just use my scratch paper here. Um, so, as I mentioned, we're gonna be using the Stampin' Blends alcohol markers. Now, these are new to Stampin' Up! this year, and I have started to use them on almost every card. Uh, the al it's alcohol-based. I'm sorry, did I say water? This is alcohol-based. And the nice thing about alcohol-based is that it allows you to do some more shading because it dries a little lighter than it initially goes down. And then there's multiple. There's a, a light and a deep shade of each color. And these are the two colors I'm using today. There's, there's a complete assortment of colors that you can look at in the catalog. Um, there's two tips to the end of this. There's a fine tip end and then there's a brush tip end like so and uh, I'm going to start off actually these are the smaller ones so I'm just going to use the small tip end and I just start with the lighter color and color in the petals and you're going to come in with a dark color to do some accents so it doesn't have to be totally covered in the yellow um, you want the main part of it colored and I'll color a couple of these here and then I'll show you how we're going to put it together. So that is the lighter color and then I'm going to take the darker color again the fine tipped in and I like to color the tips of them here and then down in the middles give it a little shading and you see how nice that looks with the colors it just gives it that real depth like you see on a natural flower. So I'm going to color that in. Those would be three daffodils that would be colored in on that card. And the, the old olive works the same way. There's a light and a dark. And on that, I just come up on the light side. And then I like to go on the, just sporadically around the card with the dark color. And what I use as a guide are these leaves that have the two lines. Um, I think that gives it a little bit of a, a shading where that line is. And so, through the magic of videotape, I'm going to show you one that I've already colored, like so. And you can see there's some lighter colors, there's a little bit of darkness on some of them, but that's the way Mother Nature creates them, so we should try and copy those things whenever possible. So, that is that one. 
And then the yellow, the big one, is a little easier. And on that one, we can use our brush tip end. And because we're just going to color in like so, just like we did on the other one. And again, I know you know how to color, but sometimes using the alcohol markers is there's a little bit of a learning curve only because you're layering the color on, which is a good thing. And a lot of artists, almost all artists, use a technique with layering, whether you're using oils or acrylics. Um, and then I took the darker color and I just did a little zigzaggy around here. And then I did the inside part like so. See how that gives it that dimension so that it looks like it's growed that has, has grown that way. <laughs> growed. <laughs> All right, so those are the two. And again, through the magic of videotape, I've already colored one here for you. So let's put our card together. Uh, I have the Happy Easter stamp that I've already done that we did. So let's put our card together. And bring back our card. We have the base. We're going to put our, uh, we're going to use our adhesive. You can use Fast Fuse or a glue runner. I'm going to use a combination of both. This is going to have multiple layers, so I'm going to put a Fast Fuse down here. And Fast Fuse you take and you just give it a check mark at the end. Alternate the sides. Now this is super sticky, so where it goes, it stays. Just like that. And then the brown, I got a little bit of nubs on here. We're going to adhere that on next, and that will be up towards the top. And you want, whoops, you want about the same amount of space on all three sides there. So that is that. And then we're going to take our piece that we did with the, that we colored in. And we're going to place that here on the center. And then we have our beautiful oval, and we're going to put that on the scalloped oval. And I'm just going to put this on with a glue runner. And then we're going to use our dimensionals to give it some height on the card. And dimensionals is our 3D adhesive dots, and they look like this. And this is going to have quite a bit of area here, so I am going to use four of the dimensionals on this one. And they adhere nicely. And the tops come off very easily, contrary to some other ones that I've tried in the past. I love the dimensionals. They're one of my favorite tools. And again, I use the dimensionals for height variation on just about all my cards. And I'm not going to center this. You could if you want, but I like it down a little bit so that it looks like the top's kind of peeping through. Now, again, you could do it however you want. That's the nice thing about the cards is you make them the way you like them. Then I'm going to put my brown strip on. And again, that went the whole width of the card, and we're going to space it between the yellow like so. And then I have these one that we did that says Happy Easter. And I'm going to fishtail that using our triple banner punch. And it's triple banner because it has a one inch, one and a half, and two inch section that uh, you can use on this. Now we're, ours is only three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to put it in the back here. And then I can kind of see where it's at. And I'm just going to punch it. And then I'm going to punch this one about the same distance in like so, and that is going to get put right here on this brown strip. Now, again, I'm going to use the dimensionals. Um, that's the good side. Until I double stamped on this, I always like to stamp a practice one on first, uh, just to make sure that the ink is, is solid and the placement is good. And if I need to make any modifications, then I can on the front. Nice thing about the paper is it's two-sided. Okay, so hopefully that's straight. And there's our card. Isn't that pretty? 
Um, it's simple, it's sweet, and it can be used, like I said, for to send just a, a friend. It can be Easter, it can be Mother's Day, and it could be birthday. You got the sentiments for all three that are right here in this one stamp set. So uh, that makes it really nice. I like whenever my stamp sets are versatile. I can use them for different cards and different techniques. So this is the one we made today. I've got a couple other ones. This is the first one I did as my prototype, and I used the sentiment kind thoughts for you, and that will be sent out to a dear friend. So that's our card for today. We have a couple of them, and I hope you enjoyed this. If you'd like any additional information about these stamp sets, or if you'd like a catalog, if you don't have a demonstrator, I'd be happy to send you out both catalogs in the mail, and that uh, you can just respond here on the YouTube channel, and I will get that out to you right away because it only goes through March 31st, so we don't have a lot of time. And I did mention that you get it free with a qualifying purchase. Qualifying purchase is anything before tax and shipping, but it's anything in any of our available catalogs. So you can go to the annual catalog and purchase items from there and still get the celebration. It does not have to be from the occasions catalog only. So... I have enjoyed spending time with you. Uh, I'm working on my website, suestap.com. And if you are interested in joining my team, it's a great time to join Stampin' Up! because of the special promotions. Not only can you uh, get your discounts, but for $99, you get $125 worth of merchandise. And right now, through this celebration period, you get two free stamp sets. So that's an extra bonus that you don't get other times of the year. So if you've thought about becoming a demonstrator, if you'd like more information, I'd be happy to talk to you. We have a great team of gals and uh, would love to grow with you. If you've enjoyed my video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that little subscribe button and um, you will get regular updates whenever I send out new YouTube videos. So. Thanks for joining me. Happy stamping and be creative. Thank you.